Hello farmers, you're welcome back to our YouTube channel. It is Simeon again on pepper farming. So I told you this pepper farming is something you can do in your house, within your vicinity, in your corridor, maybe uh, somewhere you just set aside at your backyard. You can just grow a pepper, maybe 10 or 15 or 20 roots that you can be harvesting to cook at home and if you want to make it a massive one too you can actually get a wide knowledge about how to plant pepper from this video so the previous video i taught you how you can get your seedling the seeds from the pepper so i told you that you go to the market blah 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 like that so i hope you enjoying the video so if you haven't watched the video i will attach the video to the end of this video you could just go there you know click on it watch the video i know it's a bit long but it's just a process by process so that we can all understand it very well so that's the reason why the video is long and today now we want to continue for the pepper farming of the thing you know we are all farmers so we want to plant pepper so today we are going to do the bed there's one thing we call nursing in this uh, pepper farming too so we are going to arrange the bed that bed you can use a plastic you can use a zinc if you have zinc in your house you can use zinc you can use anything so far that thing can hold your sand before you make your zinc uh, there are types of soy you should not use and there are the one that you should use i believe all of us attend uh, primary school so we'll understand when it comes to agriculture so we'll understand some uh, some things they taught us things like type of soil you know we have the sandy soil the clay soil the loamy soil and they taught us that it is the loamy soil that grow crops more than every other soil so if you have a soil like this that is a sandy one please don't use it and if you have the one that is a, a kind of stony it may be uh, maybe a stone land with a uh, red soil please don't use it and if you get the one that is clay that is clay clay one uh, it is not good for the growth of your crop especially if you are trying to nurse the seed the crop from the seedling so if you are trying to you know grow the right from the seed these soils you are seeing in the video are not good for you but if you get a soil like this then kudos you get the right soil to use for your uh, seed uh, uh, nursing so if you want to nurse your seed so you get the right uh, sand to nurse your seed so I've been talking I've been talking I'd not even show you the results of the previous video remember uh, after processing the pepper I got the seed so I tried to you know dry it and I told you not to over dry it so that it doesn't get dry to the seed the seed you know shell is covering the seed let me show you the seed so we have the seed here all right so after your seed is well dried this is what you are going to see you see it starts is dropping this is it you can see so i have the tomato seed here this is the tomato seed and i have the pepper seed so this is one two so that is that about it you know i told you a rat do eat uh tooth you pick it and eat then as well as lizard if you have them around you maybe you should dry it in a place they won't reach so this is our seed so after you get your seed after you have gotten your seed what next what next is what i'm going to do right now it's all about bed making that bed is not the bed you sleep with. no it is the bed you do to nurse your seed so let's start and to the bed right now remember i told you get a looming soil looming soil is what you're seeing on the screen very dark in color and it is losable not melt together not stick together but losable and dark in color so it will easily do what grow your crop whenever time you just put it in so let's start so for example some of us that might not get maybe materials to use i told you you can use anything you can use your zinc just put it in a place that sun will not disturb too much let it be under a small roof uh, at least it should be under a shed don't let sun to disturb it too much you can use your sack you can use your sack you can i'm going to use something like this just to put the sand inside so you can use your sack you can use anything so um for me to get this thing because i'm going to carry this thing i'm not going to dry it under 
So me now, I'm not going to dry all these things. I told you, you should not dry it under sun. You are trying to nurse a seedling, just a baby crop. So don't let them stay under sun. So I'm going to use this one to put it on inside here before I put the sand. You understand? Because I'm still going to take it from here down to where the shed is. So I told you, you can use your sack as well. Okay? So I told you, I'm going to put this thing, this sack. So I put it in so that you can hold the sand. Put it here so that I can hold the sand. Now I told us that we should get a sandy soil. So this is my shovel. So this soil is a very good one. So you take it, you put it inside. So you put it inside. Please, to every one of us, I am begging you know, if you want to get a very good result, don't press your soil, don't press it down. No, leave it like that and spread it. If it gets too thick, the root will not even penetrate because you remember they are smaller, smaller things, so they are not yet strong enough. So you need something that is loose, a soil that is loose to grow your wood, to grow your seed. So don't press it down. Just spread it once you get it like that. So and that's all. You see? We have a bed here. So the sack too. I told you you can use your sack, right? See? Just this small, small, this thing is okay for you. You don't need to fill it up. So, we start again. This is how you are going to open it down. You see? This is how you are going to leave it open. All right, I have the first one here and I have the second one, which is the sack. You can see, this is it. This is the first one. So I'm going to plant only pepper. Now this thing is not like I wanted to plant it. Like I just want to teach you. So I will just plant, I'll just not only the pepper seed. Because you can do the tomato, it's, it's the same way. It's the same way if you have your tomato seed, it's the same way. So you can easily do this kind of thing at home. But assuming it's in the farm, as I, I was tilling that, that soil, that is how you, you till it and you spread it in form of something like this. Don't press it down. So you spray your seed on top of it, that's all. You leave it and you keep on wetting it. So this is uh, one variety of pepper. I just want to see if most of this stuff. Okay. Majority of this pepper seed have been tampered with. So please confirm the pepper you want to plant and see that they are not tampered with before you plant it. So what do you do when you have your seed like this? You take your seed, you do what? You see? You can see it here. Then you sprinkle it like this. Don't pour it. You sprinkle it like this. You can see it. This should be enough. Then we take another variety of pepper. This is another one. You can see the seed in my hand here. So inside this one too, we sprinkle it. The seed you pour on this thing depends on the maximum, maybe the farm you want to, to plant. So how much you want it depends on how far your farm goes. So that's it. If lizards are going to disturb in your compound, there's a simple thing to do. So if you notice you have lizard or toad in your compound and they are going to disturb you, you do what? You get something like this. Might be iron, might be anything. You can use your hand. Assuming the, the soil is dry, you can use your hand. So you just try to scrub it on top. You see? So that I can just cover the seed a little bit. You can see? You see the difference? 
see here you can see that the seat has reduced so this one too you scrub please remove nylon if you find nylon inside you can see that the seed all disappeared you see just a little one remaining so the one that i exposed is the one they are going to see to eat the one that are not exposed they won't be able to see those ones just when you don't have a wet drink can or you can buy it at the moment or you can afford it at the moment and you can wet the pepper you are nursing with a heavy water drop so you will need something to fall on it like a rain you can do something simple like this very cheap and affordable <laughs> it's something you can do within uh, your compound so you get your I believe everybody has stuff like this at home. You drink water, you drink mineral from rubber bottle. So when you have something like this, you get your you get your nail. This is a nail, you get your nail. Uh, it doesn't matter how big it is. Then you get your hammer. So we are about to make a simple wetring can. So you lose lose this. When you lose this and you have the cover with you, you keep this aside. So we're only going to deal with this. So we pulverize this cup. This is the cover, we pulverize it. Then you go. Please make sure, it's not like you are going to let this nail, everything, it's not like you are going to let it to enter into the cover. No, just the edge, just let it enter, lead to, just lead to, small, small. Remember, we want something like a raindrop and not a heavy drop so if you let this nail enter everything to enter into the to create who in, inside this uh, uh this cover then that means your work is not yet perfect so you have to just let it enter just lead you to, to enter so you start and you do it round okay Create the hole. You try to use your uh, nail to make the hole more open, so that your water can penetrate easily. So I'm done with this one. Now you can see. See how it is. So just very simple and very cheap. Something you can do at home within your reach so once you are done with it then you take your water you put your water inside okay make sure that this one is not leaky though so you put your water inside and then you cover it up So from here you have your veteran car. Very simple <laughs> and affordable. So I told you this pepper farming is something you can do in your compound. Very cheap. You don't need to go to the market, buy anything. You can just do this pepper at home, then you grow it. Start harvesting. Very simple. So let's continue. Now we are done preparing this. But just in case your own is the one you do on soil. 
you could just make your bed on soil. If you are a farmer, you want to do your own in the farm. You go close to, to the stream where you notice the soil are always cool. So that is where you do it. Please be careful of erosion. If erosion is going to come nearby, don't take it close. But if the erosion is not coming nearby, it is better to do it in a cooler place. You know, it is seedling. They need a cool place to germinate. You just go to a nearby river place, a place that is cool. You make your bed. Not like this. You just do something like this on the soil. Gather the soil, pulverize it up before you sprinkle your seed. And what you are going to do is, remember you are not going to make a roof there. Either you get like all these rice uh, leaves, all these grasses that are long. You cover it like this. Just cover it on top with the soil or you get a palm tree leaf cover it like that on the soil or rather you make something like this one stick will cross it here another stick will cross it here it might not not too tall i just i'm just using this to make example for you the thing might just be like this to the soil so your bed the bed you make for your seedling will be under this place so you make a roof like a small shed and you put your palm kernel uh, leaf on top of the shed you make. I hope you understand most of us grow in the village. So you make your I'm talking about people that are doing their own in in the in the farm or not at home So you make something like this and you cut the palm kernel you cover it at the top So the things the palm kernel you use to cover it stand as your shed Remember you're trying to grow a seedling. They don't need too much sunlight So from under there you'll be wetting from the top and they'll be growing gradually so, but for us that are doing our own at home, we are doing it and we are putting it under our roof, then we'll grow it. Yeah, I'm having another water here with me. If you are growing yours in the farm, like I'm explaining, you, you might not really need wet time, it might not be necessary. And you cannot do this thing to wet your water. You are producing a large quantity, but for some of us that are doing it at home, it is very easy. Let's just do this. Or we get a wet can. And if you can afford the watering can, good. But so far you have your shed on top of the pepper you are trying to grow. If you pour water like this on it, that pancane leaves you make on top of that pepper will already reduce the weight of the water drop. So it will just come, you see. This is how the water will come after you put the palm kernel. On top of this thing so if you pour your water the palm kernel will divide the water so it's not going to drop heavily so that is one way to put your water on the palm kernel this thing although maybe in dry season or maybe next season i'll try to go to where my mom used to do her own then i make a video then you can see it plainly and also if assuming you use the palm kernel to cover the bed you did not make a shed you just cover the bed like that with the palm kernel with the seed the third day you should take away, take them from the top of the bed. Your seed will start growing. They will start germinating. So if you still leave it there for five days, it will be pressing the seedling down. It will allow them to grow. They will just grow and choke the leaves. You pour all the grasses you put on top of them. So on the third day, try to take the the leaves, all the palm kernel leaves you put on top of them. Take it and throw it away. And if yours is the shed, you don't need to take it away. You leave them until they are maybe 10 or 15 centimeters tall before you take it away. At that particular moment, they need enough sunlight. You know, crops need sunlight to grow. So at that particular moment, they need sunlight to grow. You can take it away. So when you still have them, when they are still young and you haven't transplanted them and there is no more shed on them, how do you wet them if you are doing it in the farm? So this is the easiest way to wet it. So once the water is coming, remember we are not looking for heavy water drop. If heavy water drop is falling on your uh, pepper, the one you are growing, the seedling, it will start sealing the soil. It will be tearing the soil from the roots of the pepper you are trying to grow. So from there, your seedling will start dying. Those ones that are growing little by little will start dying. Or rather if the water drop on the stem, remember the crop are just growing so they are not yet strong, the water might break the stem. So these are the things that heavy water do when they fall on the pepper seed you are trying to grow. So it is very simple. Once there is nothing, there is no roof on them and you are doing it in large quantity. So for you to be very fast and go home on time, so this is what you do. Once it's dropping like this, you use your hand, you see? You use your hand to shake it, then you take it to all the corners. 
or the fan. So that is just the easiest way to do it. I deserve a clap now. I'm gonna try a clap for me now. <laughs> I'm a farmer though, right from the beginning. So, so that is that about that. Let's come back to we that are doing it at home. So once you've done something like this, you are done. That's all. You only need your, you know, fabricated wetering can. You understand? So the wetering can, you take it on top. I told you, we don't need heavy water drop. That is why we did something like this. Then you take your wetering can on top of it. You can see, it's already wet. So you do it in the morning, you do it in the evening. So you take it on top of this one too, you squeeze it. So that's how you are going to be doing it time to time until, you know, they start growing up. Even if they start growing up too, the same way you start doing it until you transplant them. So when you now transplant them, if it is dry season, you will still need water like that again. But if it is raining season, you just leave the rest for rain to continue. And at the end of the day, you harvest your crop. So that is that about making a bed for your pepper and, you know, germinating them right from the seed. So my name is Simon O. James. If you've got any question you want to ask me, please, you can dial the number you're seeing on the screen or you text me on WhatsApp. We can discuss. So thank you for watching and bye for now.